It's so good to see you. Go ahead, sit down, sit down. Yeah, thank you so much for doing this for me today. I was in such a bind. My other question asker that I got dropped out on me. Totally ghosted. I don't know where they are, but thank goodness I have you, right? So, thank you so much for doing this for me. It really means a lot. I'll pay you back somehow, I promise. But, um, so yeah, I'm just asking you a few questions. Um, looks like today they're gonna be all sort of philosophical questions, if that's okay. Yeah, not too many. Um, looks like... Seven. Is that okay? Do you have time? Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Goodness. So, are you comfy? Are you okay? Okay, good. We can go ahead and get started then. Alright. So, take your time. Take all the time you need. Okay? And try and answer um, what comes first to your mind, all right? I think your answers might be a little more honest that way, you know? Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, how do you spell your last name again? I know I ask you this all the time, but it's so long and Okay, there you go. See, that's what I thought it was anyway. Anyways, okay. I digress. We'll go ahead and get started. So, number one. Is happiness just chemicals flowing through your brain? Or something more? What do you think? Interesting. Right. Right. Yeah. I can see that. Okay. Number two. The meaning of a good life. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Number three. What? Good answer. Good answer. All right. Number four. Is there order in nature? Yeah, just like the natural world, sort of. Yeah, I'm not including humans. Number five, do you think we could be in a simulation? Okay. Yep. I have to agree. Right. Number six. 
we become less happy with technology. Yes, big yes, I, I agree 100%. 100%. Number seven, are humans obligated to better themselves? Okay. Okay. Number eight is the most important purpose in life to find happiness. Okay. Got it. Number nine. Does life require a purpose and Number ten. Almost a fifth of the way done already. So it's easy, right? Okay. Is it easier to love or to be loved? You don't think so? Okay. Less writing for me. Okay. Number 13. What is true friendship? Observation alter an event? No, you think so? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Number fifteen. If everyone spoke their mind, would this world be a better place. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Number sixteen. Is there a perfect Can there be a perfect life? Does that make more sense? Okay. 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 
number 17. What is education? Number 20. Can we have happiness without sadness? Got it. Okay. Number 21. Does fate say the opposite, actually. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, number 23. Do aliens trying to put your answers into short form format so I don't have to write as much. Oops. So I'm pausing just a little. Okay. Number 25. Can artificial intelligence be created? Interesting. 
considering your answer for number 17, what is education? So, it's funny you would say that. Number 27. How much control do you have over your life? How much control do we all have over our lives? Do parallel universes exist? Number 29. Okay. Okay. Let me switch pages here. Definitely halfway done now. Number 30. What role does honor play in today's society? reading Game of Thrones recently, so I you know think about this question all the time. You know. Okay. Number thirty one. What is true strength? Number 32. Who defines good and evil? Thirty-four. What makes a good friend? I feel like we've kind of already had this one. What, what is true friendship? Number thirteen. Well, I guess. Do you think there's a difference?
number 35. Should full access to the internet be a fundamental right? Yeah, but, you know, everyone has. Okay. Six. Does nature shape our personalities more than nurture? Nature nurture. Okay. Number 37, do we control technology or is technology controlling us? Number 39. Do we change when we have power? Does power corrupt? Interesting. I've never heard that before. Okay. Number 40. Why can't every person be a genius? If time travel is possible, would we have met time travelers already? to help others. Okay. Number 45. Are people natural born leaders? Or do they develop the traits over time? Okay. Number 
46. What is the difference between justice and revenge? Number 47, 10 left. Can we choose our emotions? Okay. Okay. Number 48, do humans need other humans. Yeah, just to survive, you know? Okay. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Number 49. Can happiness and suffering coexist? Number 50. Is mora is morality relative or is it absolute? Number 51. Should all actions have equal consequences? Number 53. What determines success versus failure? If we had a thousand years to learn, could we learn everything? Could we become omniscient? That is how you say
That's really beautiful. Number 56. Why does humanity create art? Fifty-seven. Our last question. Does time have a beginning or an end? I think that's it. Okay, it does say on the bottom right here to ask which question was your favorite question. I guess that's technically a 58th question. But another philosophical question is that the 58th question? What was your favorite question? Just one that sticks out, really. That one? Number... Oh. Interesting. You know, I really liked your answer for that one, too. Okay, well, I guess we're all done. Thank you so much again for filling in for my other guy. It really means a lot. I had to get this done. So, I hope you had a good time. I'll let you know when I need to ask you some more questions or when I need to ask someone some more questions and I'll give you a call, okay? <laughs> okay. Well, have a good rest of your day and again, thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Hey, sorry, sorry. It looks like I'm the one that's late this time, <laughs> but I know you'll forgive me. I know you'll forgive me, and you get to answer some questions, so it's all gonna be fine. Thank you for doing this again for me, by the way. You are the best. So, I actually had to write them down this time, so I have a notebook, so that'll be fun. And I think I have about 50 questions. Is that okay? Okay, I thought so, but I always like to check with you and make sure. Let me get a little bit more comfortable here. Okay. So, well, my first question, how have you been? Have you been okay? Okay. Good. I hope so. I hope so. It's, I know the world gets crazier and crazier every day, I swear getting closer and closer to Blade Runner. Anyways, hopefully not, fingers crossed. Um, so, I know you're busy. Let's go ahead and get started with question number one. Are you ready? Alright, 
question number one is How do you feel about walkie talkies? Interesting. Is there any reason why? Okay, bad experience. Bad experience. Okay. Question number two Are you afraid of? Question number three. If someone asked you to build something with power tools, could you do it? Sure. No, I don't think. make you feel better. So, number four. Marble or hardwood floors? Hardwood. Question number five. Have you ever Broken a leg. Okay. And how did that happen? Okay. Tripped. It happens to the best of us. Okay. Question six. Have you ever had the opportunity to eat escargot snails? And if you haven't, would you? Well, yes, did you eat them? Question number seven. Have you ever been given a medal? Question eight. When is the last time you had to stop and admire the view because it was so pretty? Okay. How long ago was this? Okay. All right. Question nine. What can, or can you remember the last dog that you bet? Golden Doodle. 
those always have a lot of energy, right? How long ago? How long ago? We need to find you a dog that's too long. Too long. How I find if you go walking at about <laughs> six in the evenings when people usually get off of work, you'll see a lot of dogs. A lot of dogs are out for the petting at that time. Okay, question number 10. What is the last machine that you've used? Okay. A washing machine. You must have walked here then. This car counts. Okay. Question 11. Have you ever eaten a raw egg? Okay. Would you? Okay. If forced. Okay. Respect that answer. Okay, let me turn the page here. When is the last time you've uh, consulted the evidence? Okay. Look into it. Look into it. Okay. Question 13. Would you rather cook for a guest? Have a guest cook for you. Okay. Guest cook for you. Okay. Question fourteen. Would you say that you have Question 15. Have you ever ridden in a horse-drawn carriage? No? Would you like to? Yeah, I think around Christmas time in um, the old parts of towns, they usually have something like that. So. Okay. Question 16. What is one thing you own that has some sort of special signature? That's wonderful. Okay. Question.
Question 17. What's the last book, TV show, movie, or episode that you finished all the way through? This morning. Good for you. I guess you'll probably just go on to the next one. Okay. Question 18. Have you ever held real Question 20. When is the last time you did something for someone else? Okay. Oh, that's so sweet. to the next page again. Here we go. Okay. Question 20. Have you ever baked cookies if you haven't, have you helped bake cookies? Okay. What kind? Are those your favorite? Yes, I myself, these are I have a great recipe for chocolate chip macadamia nut cookies. That's really good. Okay. And the hardest thing is really how long it takes to bake 40 cookies, really. They're not too hard to put together. Question. 22. Do you call college college or do you call it university? Okay. Let's circle that. Okay. Question 20. Have you ever worn a mask, either for, you know, Halloween or if you're bougie, you've gone to a masquerade ball at any time? Okay. What? No. What? Okay. 
Question 24. Do you own any buckets? And if so, what do you use them for? Okay. Two buckets. Hold water. Okay. Got it. Right. Question twenty five. When I say the word spade, do you think of the card suit spade or do you think of a shovel? Okay. Alright. Question 26. What is the last big decision that you've had to make? Okay. That's it's not too bad. Question 27. When did you last travel? All right. And where did you go? Okay. And would you go back? sort of had enough. Well, there are so many places, you know? Okay. 28. Have you ever broken your wrist? No. Question 29. What is your least favorite type of music? Question 30. Have you ever watched a full length game of volleyball? Okay. No. Short. Okay. Got it. On to the next page. Okay. Do you prefer the sound of a cello or Going with cello. I'll say I have to agree. Right. Number 
We, we love a good protected green. Yes, we do. But only green arrows. If it's just a green circle, that is not a protected left turn. Okay. Number 33. Do you believe in Ghost fan. No big fit though. That's fine. How long have you believed in ghosts? Alright. I might have to ask some follow up questions about that at a later time. Okay. Question 34. Have you ever hiked to the top of a mountain? It can be just a little one. Okay. But All right. Question thirty five. Do you like crackers with your super salad? Okay. Yes. Crackers. Okay. Number 36. Do you have a home office? Question 37. Do you feel like you are in control of your moods and feelings? It's a little deep. Okay. You are not alone. really think it, it, it's one of those things that may take a lifetime. All right, number 38. Have you ever seen a shape in the clouds? Do you say glue or do you say paste? Okay. Okay. Question 40. Ten left. Do you prefer walking on sidewalks or do you prefer streets? Okay. All right. Bad, bad, bad. Streets are okay. Okay. The last page. Are you doing okay? 
don't need a break or anything. Okay. Just check. Question 43. When I say the word sell, do you think of C E L L? Do you think of a biological organism or a room or a square? in Microsoft Excel. sort of known for taking pictures on their phone. Okay. I thought so. We all we all have somebody. Okay. All right. Question 45. Can you surf? I don't know why he made us ask this. We're landlocked, practically. Okay. Question 46. Do you use Adblock? Okay. Well, even if you were lying, Question 47. Almost done. Have you ever been visited by the fire department? Okay. How long ago? Okay. I unfortunately have, and it is, it was not a very pleasant experience, so I'm not going to relive it right now, but I have been visited. Okay, question 48. Have you ever played with water balloons? Okay.
All right. Question 49. Is your local climate currently experiencing a drought? This is um, pretty intrusive, so if you don't want to answer, that's okay. What do you keep your AC at during the day? Okay. In the 70s, that's not. our last question. So, thank you for doing this again with me. You are the best, the best, the best. And I hope you had fun. So I'll let you know if I have any more questions for you, as usual. And I'll see you very soon. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Bye. Hey, it's good to see you. So I have a few silly questions to ask today, if that's okay. <laughs> okay, great. Duh. Don't mind this microphone. It's just gonna record everything you say. Okay, good. Great, it's fine. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get started so I can get you on your way out of here. Uh, number one, when you put on shoes, do you put on the left shoe or the right shoe first? Okay. Oh yeah, these are all very important. Yes, very important. Number two, how much peanut butter do you think you could eat in one sitting. Okay. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. Right? Number three. What is something that always makes you laugh? That's great. That's that's one of mine too. Okay. Number 4. What kind of soap do you dislike the most? the most vivid color that your snot has ever been? Have 
you ever stolen anything from a hotel room? Like the little soaps? Okay. Okay, okay. No, we hear that all the time. Yeah. Okay, number eight. If you had to choose a stage name, but it could only be one word, what would that word be? Okay. okay. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And yeah, if you need to take your time to think on some of these, some of them are kind of hard, that's totally fine. Okay. Number nine. What is the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Okay. No, no. I've I've heard worse. I've heard worse. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Number 10. What would you do if you woke up and you are invisible for a day, what would you do? All right, all right, all right. Okay, number 11. What is the weirdest dream that you've ever had? Anything else? Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. Number 12. If there was three feet of snow on the ground right now, how long would it take you to get out there and build a snowman? Are you an expert snowman builder, would you say? Number 13. Do you have any secret talents? Okay. Okay. Number 14. If you had to rename the sport of baseball, what would you rename it as? Number 15. Do you sleep talk? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me write that. Okay. All right. Let me change the page. Yep, we've got about 55 questions, I think. All right, number 16. What is one hobby you've always wanted to try but doesn't seem productive enough? Okay. Yeah, so many hobbies are expensive. Okay, number 17. What is your 
least favorite type of shirt. Okay. Okay. Yeah, for me, bright colored, tight, graphic t-shirts. They bring back bad memories. Okay, number 18. Can I ask you another question? Yes or no? Okay. Great. Number 19. Did you eat dirt as a child? Okay. 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 Alright. Number 20. Do you find it funny when people fall down? Okay. Got it. Number 21. If you were teleported back 400 years with no possessions, how would you show people that you are from the future? Okay. Okay, is that it? Okay. Okay. A question 22. If a stranger said one sentence to you, but that sentence immediately made them your new best friend, what would that sentence be? Okay. Okay. Okay, got it. Number 23. Do you think a cat or a dog would make a better president? Why is that? Okay. Understandable. Understandable. Okay, number 24. If you could replace the ocean with another type of liquid, what would you choose? Interesting. Number 25. If Santa had to choose another animal to pull his sleigh, what animal do you think that should be? What animal would you pick? Okay. I can see that. I can definitely see that. Is it reindeer? Really? Okay. Number 26. If you had to live the rest of your life with either four fingers or with four toes, which one would you choose? Okay. I'll just circle that. All right. Number 27. If you had to wear the same pair of shoes for the rest of your life, which pair would you choose? Okay. All right. Number 28. Do, 
do you have that dog in you? Okay. All right, next page. To question 29. Would you rather have large amounts of cheese or large amounts of chocolate? Okay. Okay. Question 30. If you had to change the color of grass, what color would you change it to? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Question 31. If Joe Biden and Trump had to box for the presidency, who do you think would win? Okay. I know, if only, right? If only. Okay. Number 32. If you had to choose between becoming a very large tree or becoming a very large rock. Which would you choose? Okay. I think I would choose that one too. All right, number 33. What is the first thing that you wash when you take a shower? Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, number 34. If you could create one rumor about yourself, what would that rumor be? Okay. understandable. All right, number 35. If you could choose to like one food that you currently don't like very much, what food would that be? Yeah, I think most people would say around the same thing. Number 36. How do you usually spell the word okay? Okay. 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 Number 37. It's very important. Do you believe in Bigfoot? And if so, what is the best piece of evidence? Okay. For me, I would have to say the Sierra sounds. Those are pretty good. What are those? Look into it. Look into it. Okay. Number 38. If fish could talk, what type of fish would be the meanest fish? Okay. Interesting. 
Okay. Number 39. If farts had to switch smells with something that smelled good, what would you choose? Chickens would it take to beat a bear in a fight? Let's, let's say a brown bear. Brown bear in a fight. Okay, good number. Good number. Okay. If you could change the color of any fruit to pink, what fruit would you choose? <laughs> okay. All right. That's that's great. All right. Switching pages again. We are on our last page already. I know this one went by. If you had to make a sandwich, but nothing on the sandwich was edible except for the bread, what would the sandwich be made out of? your kindergarten teacher's name? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Number 44. Can you fold a fitted sheet? that can fold a fitted sheet? <laughs> I, I don't know anybody. We just throw it in the closet. There it goes. Okay, number 45. What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen in somebody else's home? Six. What's the weirdest thing that you have in your home? Okay. Yeah, all the answers are semi confidential. Don't worry. Okay, number forty seven Applebee's or Chili's? something besides a car, what would that thing be? Okay, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Number 49. If you could delete one book to movie adaptation forever, what would you choose? Okay. You might make some people mad with that one. But that's fine. I'm here for it. Okay. Number 50. Can you 
list all the different ways that you have eaten eggs. like a clown for one day, then you can't just stay at home. Alright. Number 53. Would you rather have neon eyes or neon hair. Any color. Okay. Okay. Number 54. If aliens offered to take you to their home planet, would you go with them? you had the ability to stay awake forever, would you ever sleep again? I really appreciate it, and like always, I'll give you a shout if I get any, any more questions for you to answer. All right, well, you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you soon. All right, bye-bye. Oh, there you are. You're way in the back. I didn't see you at first. So how have you been? Good. Well, I've got more questions for you. You still want to answer? Okay. I think I have. I think I have a hundred this time. So that's all good. Okay. Just making sure. I appreciate this so much. Yeah, I do have a hundred. And we are both right on time. Good for us. Okay, so if you're ready, we can go ahead and get started. You ready? Okay, great. And of course, just like any other time, if you need to take a break or anything like that, just let me know. That's all good, okay? Very good. So, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so, I believe all of my questions today are going to be food related. So that should be pretty fun. Just write your name. And you haven't had 
any changes to your personal information. Okay, good. Just making sure, just making sure. Okay, so question number one. Here we go. This one's a pretty easy one. Would you say that you like food? Can you do a uh, 1 to 10 for me? Okay, great. Okay. Question number two. Do you like to cook food? Okay. Okay. Question do you prefer home-cooked food, fast food, or restaurant food? Like, where you go sit down, like sit down restaurant. Okay. Question number four. How does how you feel about food today compare to how you felt about food as a child? Are there any significant differences there? Okay. Okay. Question number five. Would you describe your your younger self as a picky eater okay. all right question number six um, what were some of your favorite foods growing up just when you were growing up. <laughs> Good choice. Yep, that's one of mine. Okay, and if you had to pick one of these favorite foods, which one would you pick as your most favorite? Question seven. Okay. And question eight is, did you have a favorite drink growing up? Okay. Also pretty popular. And question nine. Yeah, question nine. What were some of your least favorite foods growing up? Okay. And do you think you could narrow that down to just one thing? What was your most hated food growing up? Okay, I see. Alright, we are one-tenth done. <laughs> Question 11. Did you like water as a child? Or did somebody have to make you drink it? Was there anything that you were not allowed to eat as a kid? Okay. Okay. Question.
question 13. This is a little personal, you know, so Did you have any traumatic experiences with food as a child? You can go as in-depth or as surface level as you want So, on question 14, how were your parents' relationships with food? Okay. So, a question 15, did you play a sport or do any activity as a child that required you to go on a diet or sort of change what you were eating at the time. Okay. All right. On to the next page. Question 16. How are we doing? Doing okay? Okay. Uh, did you ever have a birthday party or dinner at a restaurant as a child? And if so, what restaurant? And question 17, did you ever attend? So go to somebody else's a birthday dinner as a rest at a restaurant as a child. Okay. Question 18. Did you help cook meals as a child? Okay. And question 19. Do you think you ate enough fruits and vegetables growing up? Question 20. Did you have a favorite snack growing up? Okay. And question 21. Did you have a favorite meal growing up? We're thinking of good memories. Okay. Switch sides here again. Okay. And number 22 is when is the last time that you've had this meal? Who would you say is, or was, the best cook in your family? Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, and question 24. 
How often did you have family meals at dinner time growing up? So when you ate together as a family, specifically at dinner. Okay. Yep, per week. Okay. Okay. And question twenty five. About how many times per week was your family able to eat breakfast together? Okay. Okay. So, now we are a fourth of the way done. <laughs> so we are now um, sort of going to repeat some of those childhood questions, except they apply to the present now, okay? So currently. So are you currently a picky eater? Okay. And 27, what are some of your favorite foods currently? Excuse me. Okay. All right. And 28, um, Again, if you had to choose just one of these favorite foods to be your all-time favorite, which one would you choose? Okay. All right. So, 29. About how many times per week? Would you say you have this favorite food? Okay. Or if you want to go per month or per, per year, if that's easier, you can do that. Okay. And do you have a favorite? drink. Okay, and about how many times per week would you say that you have this drink? Okay. Okay. And number 32. What are some of your least favorite foods currently? All right. Yep, yeah, I've heard of that before. And 33. If you just had to pick one all-time least favorite food, what would that be? Question 34. Um, and about how many times per week, month, year, whichever one, uh, about how many times per whatever do you have your least favorite food or is it never? So question 35, do you currently enjoy drinking water? Okay. Okay. And do you think you drink enough water? Right. 
And do you currently prefer your water to be with or without ice cubes? Okay. And we're on to the next page again. Let me switch this really fast. And when your water does have ice in it, by force or otherwise, what kind of ice cubes do you prefer? Oh yeah, you know, the, the crushed, um, the cubed, maybe you're a little fancy and you can get a spherical ice cubes, something fancy like that, what do you prefer? And 39. Have you had any traumatic experiences with food as an adult? Okay, and question 40. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your cooking proficiency? Question 41. When did you learn how to cook your first meal? Okay. Okay, not bad. Question 42. What is your favorite, specifically, home cooked meal? And this might be the same as your favorite meal, and that's okay. Okay. All right. 43. Um, what is your favorite restaurant currently? And 44, what is your favorite fast food place? All right, and question 45. Let's say you went to this fast food place and it was going to take at least 30 minutes to get your desired meal from this fast food place, would you stay or would you wait? Okay. I have to say, I would do the opposite. <laughs> okay. So, now we are moving into our major food groups. I'm going to ask you some specific questions about uh, pertaining to fruits, vegetables, dairy, okay? Okay. So, question 46. And we are almost halfway done. How do you feel about fruits? Forty-seven. Can you list, or tell, I don't know why, but list, what fruit do you prefer the most? Okay. Right? And the fruit that you like the least would be Uh, 49. Do you feel like you get 
an acceptable amount of fruits in your diet. Number 50, halfway. Do you consume anything that is flavored or scented to either taste or smell like fruit? I like a ice cream or a, a slushy, maybe. Okay. And what, what flavor would that be? Alright. Got it. Alright, now 51. This kind of has a few layers here. I'm going to offer you three choices, and I need you to tell me which one you would prefer the most. And if you don't like any of the three, just which one you uh, hate the least. And this format will pop up again in all of the different food group sections, so. Okay. Uh, one, um, apples, oranges, or bananas. Okay. Uh, pears, avocado, or lemon. Okay. Uh, number three, tomato. Kiwi or lime. Okay. Number four, peach, cherry, or watermelon. Okay. Number five, blueberry, strawberry, raspberry. Okay. All right. And number 52, do you wish that you could like more fruits? Or are you pretty satisfied with how many fruits you like currently? Okay. Interesting. Okay. And number 53. Now this is different than how do you feel about fruits. Um, when I say the word fruit, what feelings pop up? Okay. All right. Okay, so now we are moving on to vegetables. How do you feel about vegetables? Okay. Okay, um, number 55. What does the word vegetable, what feelings does it make you? you are getting a good amount of vegetables in your diet. Perfect. And 57, if you had to guess, how many vegetables would you say exist? How many different types? Your favorite. Okay. 
Okay. Sorry, Mom. Okay. Got it? Okay. And number 60. Do you have a least favorite vegetable? choices again, okay? I just did this a second ago, so just pick which one you would prefer the most, okay? So, beans, bean sprouts, chard, or Sixty-four. Have you ever thought about growing your own fruits and or vegetables? Okay. Number sixty-five. Do you like mushrooms? I guess they're not technically a vegetable. Right? So they're a fun. And number 66, have you seen the movie Ratatouille? Okay. And number 67, this is a tough one. Could you spell Ratatouille for me? Are you afraid of eating outside? Okay. 69. Have you um, ever been on a picnic? I suppose, but it is required for me to go through 
all of the questions. Okay, so you, it's totally fine to answer no to most of these. Some of these um, might actually be yes, but no, just a, a sorry or a, you know, sorry, <laughs> but I have to end, ask the questions. Um, so, question 70. How do we feel about dairy products? Okay. Question 71. Are you lactose intolerant? Apparently, it can pop up when you get older. Isn't that crazy? Okay, number 72. Do you feel like you're getting enough dairy in your diet? Okay. Okay, what would you define a dairy product as okay. 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 Um, seventy four. Do you have a favorite dairy product? Okay. Seventy five, three fourths of the way done. What dairy product, if any, do you eat the most? Okay. Seventy six. Do we have a least favorite dairy product? And you know, maybe it can even be something that you've tried before and not liked? Okay. Okay. Alright, so now we have the question type with the three uh, different options again. Okay, so you're an expert at those. Right, first we have butter, buttermilk, or cheese. Okay. Next, we have cream, milk, and sour cream. Okay. Next, we have yogurt, ice cream, or cottage cheese. Okay. Next, well, we're done with that. Uh, 78. Question 78. Do you eat meat? Okay. And if any, what is your favorite meat? Okay. And do you have a least favorite meat. Okay. And again, if applicable, do you prefer meat to be spicy? Okay. Okay. So now we've got some choices again. So number 82. Chicken or eggs? Okay. I'm not sure. Is eggs a dairy? Is it a meat? Okay. Uh, part two. We have lamb, pork, or salmon. Okay. Part 
victory, we have turkey, beef, and shrimp. Okay. And part four, we have bacon, ham, and sausage. All right. Question 83. Do you like any types of nuts? Okay. Okay, question 84. Do you eat a lot of starches and grains? Would you say that you eat a lot? Do you tend, when you do eat grains, do you tend to eat whole grains? Okay. okay. Uh, 86. Are you happy with your intake of grains? Seven. Do you prefer bread, pasta, or rice? Okay. Number eighty-eight. Um, back to your favorite meal. I guess that's not a question. Um, but remember your favorite meal that you answered before. Um, have you ever? made this meal yourself? Okay, and can you, um, of course you've, you know, said the name, but can you describe the meal to me? delicious. Alright, and 91, what is your favorite thing about this meal? Okay, got it. Alright, and 92, how often do you get to eat this particular meal? Can you remember the first time that you ever got to eat this? Okay. 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 And 94. Oh, almost there. Uh, do you know anyone else? who has the same favorite meal as you do. Okay. And 95, do you get to eat this meal at Thanksgiving? And if not, what is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Question 96, kind of switching gears here for the last few. Do you help prepare the big Thanksgiving meal um, for multiple people? Okay. And if so, um, what is one dish you wish you could add into the Thanksgiving menu that you've never been able to add. I guess even if you don't cook the meal, you can still answer this question, so... Okay. Okay. 
98, if you had to remove one typical Thanksgiving meal, what would it be? yourself. Okay. Okay. And question 100. Do you usually take a nap on Thanksgiving Day? I have for you. I've got a lot of good stuff here. Just put all these pages back in order. Okay. Yep. A lot of good stuff. This is gonna be great. So, once again, Thank you so much for answering all hundred of these questions for me. I really, really appreciate it. And of course, I'll let you know if I get any more, okay? Okay. So, thank you, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you very soon, okay? Okay. You are right on time. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this again for me. My class absolutely loved your answers last time. So we're all excited to hear what you have to say again. And I know you're very, 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 very busy. have a lot of other surveys to get to, I'm sure. So we'll try and keep it brief. Okay. So you ready to get started? Okay, great. So this time I have some personal questions for you and they shouldn't be too bad. I don't think they're too bad. And don't worry, I'm the only person who's going to know, you know, that you're the one filling this out. When I tell my class, you are completely anonymous. I don't give your name or any of that. Okay, so don't worry about it. Just answer honestly and try to answer with the first thing that comes into your mind, right? What we talked about last time. It'll be fun. It'll be great. Let's see, I have, I think I have 60 this time. Professor gave me 60. Well, I put a page on backwards, so let me look here. There we go. Okay, 60. 60 questions. Think you can do it? Yeah. It's going to be no problem. Is one thing that drives you crazy about other people? Hopefully not me, right? Okay. No, I hate that too. That's so annoying, isn't it? I hate that too. Okay. So, see, 
Number one done. Easy. All right. Number two. What is your greatest fear? Or the most comfortable fear you want to tell me? Okay. It's an easy one. Question three. What habit are you currently trying to quit or overcome? Okay. Recognition. Recognition is the first step. Number four, what is keeping you up at night? your role model growing up? Okay. Okay. Question six. Do you believe in astrology? Question 10. Do you have a co-worker who is better than you at your job? That's a tough one. Okay. All right. Question 11. Do you find being honest difficult? Hopefully not. You like these surveys so much. Okay. Now, that's a good quality to have. Honesty is the best policy, I'm telling you. Okay. Question 12. What is the best thing someone has ever done for you. Okay. 
Right. Question 14. What are the three most important things in your life? Sounds really fun. And you answered it really quickly, too. I think I would have to think about it a little bit more. Okay, number 16. What is your favorite place in the city that you live? thinks I'm crazy, but I, I think they have the best pizza here, right? Okay. Number 17. Are you good at staying in touch with people? Okay. No. Yeah, I feel like that's the case most of these days, unfortunately. Number 18. What would you do with a million dollars? I'm sure you've been asked this before, so hopefully you have an answer by now. Okay. Okay. Number 19. Have you ever had a ghost encounter? think so. I guess we never really know, right? Could be one watching us right now. It's crazy. Okay. Okay. Number 20. What do you want to achieve with your life? It's pretty personal. Okay. That's a good answer. Number 21, would you change your hair color or eye color if you could? Okay. Okay. Number 22, have you ever had a life-changing incident? important quality in a relationship. Good. Oh, you remembered what I said. Huh? Honesty is the best policy, you guys. Okay, number 24. When was the last time that you laughed? Oh, good. That's not And what at? Oh, a cat video, okay. I know those never get old, do they? Okay. Cats and babies. Number 25. 
What is something that you know a lot about? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Number 26. How influenced are you by your friends? Not very. Are you sure? Okay. Okay. Number 27. Do you avoid conflict or do you engage? Number 29. What is currently, currently, your favorite song? Not all time, just currently, just currently. Okay. Okay. Number 30. Have you ever hated a song? But after being forced to listen to it a few times on the radio, on your commute, you've actually started to like it. Has that ever happened? Yeah. Well, it's a very intrusive question. Okay. Number 31. Are you passionate about what you do? totally fine, too. If you're not sure, if you're not sure, sometimes it, sometimes it takes a while to figure that stuff out. Okay. So, number 32. More than halfway done, right? Super easy. Does picturing yourself in 10 years stress you out? Or does it make you happy, excited? Okay. I'm right there with you. Number 33. Are you a good leader? Number 34. What do you think makes you happy? Okay. I'm going to set this down. Is your second most favorite color? I know no one ever asks that, huh? <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. No, you wouldn't think it'd be such a hard question, but all right. So you like spring color? Number 36. What is the worst advice you have ever received? Uh, 
Thanks. That's um, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Number 37. What are you proud of? Yeah, it can be a thing. Okay. Okay. Number what could you improve about yourself? Okay. Okay. Very common. Very common. All right. Number 39. How do you spend your time off? Number 40. What makes you sort of different? Number 41. What is the first thing that you think of whenever you wake up? Okay. That's sweet. Okay. Number 42. How do you de stress? We really like the beach. That needs to be a common theme here. Okay. How much time do you spend using technology? You can actually, I don't know if you know this, but you can actually look on your phone and it'll break it down for you. It's very interesting. Okay. Number 44. How do you react to change? Okay, not very. What is something you wish you could let go of? Okay. 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 Number forty six. What motivates you? Okay. Number forty seven. Do you have good organization? Something you're born with, I 
think. I, I really think that's it. <laughs> okay. Number 48. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? What is your least favorite thing to clean? Okay. You know, I really don't mind that, actually. Everyone, everyone has their, their thing that they don't like to clean. If they clean. Okay. Question 50. We have 10 more. And more after this one. Who would you not want to be stranded on an island with? Okay. Okay. Number 51. If you could have dinner with four individuals, living or dead, who would you choose? And four. Interesting. Okay. Number 52. What is one of your pet peeps? Number 53. What is the worst gift you've ever received? That's not too bad. Not too bad. You know what? Number 54. What was your New Year's resolution this year? And you don't have to tell me if you kept it or not. Just what was it? Okay. Number 55. When you are in a bad mood, do you prefer company? Or do you want to be left alone? Okay, just circle that. Okay. Number 56. Have you ever been given a second chance at something? Number 57. What is something that you've learned to accept? What 
there's one upgrade you wish you could make to your bathroom. Okay. Heated floors. That sounds pretty good. Those are expensive though. God, okay. I'll cross my fingers on that for us. Number 59. Do you trust your gut feelings? Okay. Okay. And our last question. What names are ruined for you forever because of someone you've met? Oh, you have two. Okay. You have three. Wow. Okay. It's not a lot of people. Okay. And that was our last question. See, that was super easy, right? Just make sure here. Just in put this on quite right. Okay. Okay, it looks like we got everything. Again, thank you so much for doing this again for me. And I'll make sure to let you know whenever I have more questions for you, okay? So I know you've got to run. So go on, get out of here, okay? I'll see you. Hi there. Welcome in. Go ahead and have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. I'm just going to finish up this one thing. Okay. And so, all right. Sorry about that. I was just finishing up an email. So, I assume you are here to fill out a medical history form. Okay, great. Let me just get a file pulled up. Let's see here. Okay. today, unfortunately. It seems like they're always glitchy. Okay, we're almost there. All right. Here we are. Okay, sorry about that. Just come back from the lunch break. Getting the workflow all back together. So, all right, can I have your name? All right, great. Just to confirm your appointment that you are here so you don't have to pay a no show fee. I know we all hate those. <laughs> okay, so once again, you are here to fill out a detailed medical history, right? Okay, great. And afterwards, we will be sending all this information to any doctors so that whenever you go in for your appointments for the upcoming year, you don't have to fill out all of those tedious medical history forms. So annoying, right? I'm so glad we exist. So glad it's so annoying. Okay. I wish I could afford us. Yeah. So, anyways, um, after.
after I get your history, then we will go over your doctor's information. All right. So, let me bring up our medical history form. The first thing I need to do before I start asking questions, I do need your verbal consent to ask you all of these things and to forward this information off to your doctors. So, do you consent? Okay, great. Alright, so I have your name. Let's go ahead and do your birthday. some yes and no questions, um, really a lot of yes or no questions, and some where, uh, that are more open-ended, all right? So take as much time as you need to think about any of these questions. If you need to look anything up, I know sometimes we uh, forget which uncle or which aunt, which side of the family had a certain condition or anything like that. So if you need to look at your phone, feel free. That happens all the time. We all can't remember every single detail about our family members. Um, totally fine. Okay, do you have an approximate height? Okay, and a weight. Okay, and has either of these things fluctuated in the last few months? Okay. Great. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with this gigantic form we have here. Have you ever had any problems with your ears, eyes, nose, or throat? And for any of these sections, if you could go ahead and tell me an approximate time um, now if it was last week versus 10 years ago, that's a pretty important information that we need to write down. So if you could let me know sort of time frame. Okay. And if it was 10 years ago, you don't have to remember if it was 9 or 11 or what month it was, right? Just an approximate. If it was a long time ago, is perfectly okay. All right. So again... Have you ever had any problems with your eyes, ears, nose, or throat? Okay, and how long ago was this? Perfect. Great. Alright, here are some yes or no's. Um, do you have a history of cataracts? Okay, how about glaucoma? Okay, how about a history of any hearing impairments? Okay, how about vertigo? Okay, how about visual impairment? Okay, good. Alright, moving on. Any problems with your heart or your circulation? Okay. Right? Okay. Do you have a history of blood clots and legs? Okay. Hyperlipidemia. Right? Irregular heartbeat. Heart infection. Okay, a history of high blood pressure or high blood pressure in pregnancy. Okay, one of those should be pretty easy. 
Alright, internal cardiac defibrillator. Do you have one of those? Okay. Uh, any heart murmurs? Okay, any mitral valve prolapse? Okay, any history of heart attacks? Okay, any pacemakers? Heart palpitations? Stroke? TIA or mini stroke? Okay, varicose veins? Okay, and have you ever or are you currently seeing a cardiologist? Alright, and do you, or, or clearly you, we just went over you, but do any of your family members have a history of heart or circulation problems? Okay. Alright. Next section. Have you ever had any problems with your blood? Bleeding disorders, any bone marrow transplants, are you immunosuppressed, sickle cell disease, sickle cell trait? Okay, have you ever had a blood transfusion? Okay, and do you know your blood type? Okay. ever had any problems with your lungs or breathing? Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. A uh, history of asthma. Okay, do you have a history of COPD? Have you had bronchitis within the past five years? Okay, have you ever had cystic fibrosis? Chronic lung disease? Pulmonary embolism? Respiratory infection? Okay, how long ago was this? And about how long would you say it lasted? Okay, and did you find um, you just weren't feeling very well or did you maybe have a cough? Um, anything else significant? Okay. you have sleep apnea, okay, pulmonary hypertension, uh, tuberculosis, okay, have you ever been hospitalized overnight for asthma? Okay, steroid therapy for asthma, great, and have you ever seen um, a pulmonologist, and are you currently seeing one? Okay. Alright. Have you ever had um, type 1 or type 2 diabetes? Okay. Do you have a history of any pituitary disorders? Okay. Um, are you uh, diet controlled, okay, um, hypoglycemic, okay, insulin control, uh, any hypo, hypo or hyperthyroidism, okay, how about hypoglycemia, okay, any insulin resistance, 
Okay, great. Right. Have you ever had problems with your stomach or your bowels? Okay. And are you taking anything for that? Yes, okay. Okay, we'll cover all your medications at the very end. Alright. Okay. Um, do you have a history of colitis? Okay, chronic constipation, Crohn's disease pancreatitis, okay, chronic diarrhea, uh, any eating disorders, gallbladder disease, uh, acid reflux, hepatitis, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, any history of jaundice, okay, liver disease, malabsorption syndrome, any oral or gum disease. Okay, pyloric stenosis. And any stomach ulcers. Alright. On to the next section here. Okay, have you ever had problems with your kidneys, bladder? Um, any dialysis? uterine fibroids, endometriosis, fibroids, any stents, okay, um, any leakage, okay, any kidney disorders, okay, kidney stones, uh, pelvic pain, okay, that's about it for that section. Okay, are you seeing or have you seen any doctors or any of this? Okay, great. And does anybody in your family have a history of any stomach, bowel, or kidney problems? Okay. All right. Have you ever had any problems with your nervous system? Okay. Have you been diagnosed with ADHD? Okay. Uh, any Alzheimer's, carpal tunnel syndrome, cerebral palsy, dementia, okay, any spinal cord injury? Many migraines. Okay. Alright. Uh, motion sickness. Okay. Any numbness. Okay. And have you seen or are you seeing a neurologist? Okay. And do you or anybody in your family have a history of any of the things that I listed. Okay, great. On to the next section. Have you ever had any problems with your muscles or bones? Okay. Are you an amputee? Okay, any arthritis? Back injury, back pain, a bulging disc, degenerative disc disease, okay, limited range of motion, okay, muscular dystrophy, okay, any neck injuries, neck pain, pelvic injuries, scoliosis, and any other spinal deformities. Okay. 
And does anybody in your family have a history of any of the things that I listed? Alright. Right. Have you ever had any problems with your skin? Okay. Um, have you ever had eczema? History of MRSA, uh, PUPPS, rosacea. Okay. Right. Um, have you ever had any cancers? Oh, and I forgot. Does anybody in your family have a history of any skin problems? Figured you would have stopped me. Okay. Any cancers? Okay. Just good to know. Right. Okay. What types of anesthesia have you ever had? Um, epidural, general, conscious, sedation, local. Okay. Have you ever had any reactions? Anything at all? Uh, Post-op nausea. Okay. Um, has any of your family members experienced difficulty with anesthesia? experience any difficulty opening your mouth? Okay. Do you have a limited movement of your neck? Okay. Do you currently have a severe sore throat? Right. Have you fainted within the last year? Okay. Do you currently have a severe cough? Have you had pneumonia in the past 12 months? Have you experienced any shortness of breath whatsoever in the past um, 12 months? Okay, do you have a history of abnormal chest x-rays? Okay, any current congestion? fallen within the last six months. Okay. Do you bruise easily? Okay. Are you unable to lie flat for 45 minutes? Okay. Have you taken antibiotics within the past 12 months? And have you experienced any unintentional weight loss? Okay. What about um, your surgical history? Do you have a history of any surgeries? Okay. Okay, do you want to tell me about that? A few sentences should be fine. your tonsils or wisdom teeth removed. Okay. Okay. Do you currently drink alcohol? Um, none. Occasional. Monthly. 
weekly or daily. Okay. Have you used smokeless tobacco within the last uh, three months? Okay. Are you a smoker? Current, former, non-smoker? Okay. Do you use electronic cigarettes or vapes? Okay. Okay. Did you receive a flu vaccine this past season? Okay. And it looks like we are not giving flu vaccines at this time. I won't ask you if you are in interested in one of those. Do you have any prosthetics or implants? I'm including artificial eyes, artificial limbs. Okay. Any body piercings? Okay. Do you wear glasses or contact lenses? Do you have any implants for hearing? Okay, hearing aids. Any other implants? Okay. Any other devices? Okay. Do you have braces? Okay. Any caps or crowns? chipped teeth. Okay, any false teeth? Any loose teeth? Any missing teeth? All right. Do you use any medical equipment at home, including a cane, crutches, home ventilator, walker, What language do you speak? Okay. Do you learn best by doing, listening, reading, seeing, or are you unsure? Okay. And what is your highest education level? All right. currently able to care for, for yourself. Okay. Do you have transportation to and from doctor's offices? Okay. Do you have somebody that can help you with any medical treatments? Okay. Do you have running water and electricity in your home? Can you walk indoors, such as around your house? Okay. Can you walk a block or two on level ground? Can you climb a flight of stairs or walk up a hill? Can you run a short distance? Okay. Can you do light work around the house, like dusting or washing dishes? Okay. Can you do moderate work around the house? like vacuuming, sweeping floors, or carrying groceries. Okay, can you do heavy work around the house, like scrubbing floors, or lifting and moving heavy furniture? Okay, can you do yard work, such as raking leaves, weeding, or pushing a power mower? Okay, can you participate 
and moderate recreational activities like golf, bowling, dancing, tennis, or throwing a football. And can you participate in strenuous sports like swimming, singles tennis, football, basketball, or skiing? Okay. Right. Thank you. And you said, uh, do you have a current sleep apnea diagnosis? Okay, do you snore loudly at night? Uh, loud enough that you can be heard uh, through closed doors and walls. Okay, do you often feel tired during the daytime? Okay, has anybody ever observed you stop breathing during your sleep? Do you have, or are you, have you ever been treated for high blood pressure? Okay. Okay. Okay, we are just about done here. Now, if you can just uh, let me know all of the prescription and over-the-counter medicines you are taking right now, as well as their dosage and about how often you take these. Okay. Do you have any drug allergies or reactions? Okay, very good. Do you have a latex allergy? Any other allergies? And do you have a preferred pharmacy? Okay, can you get their address? and or their telephone number. Okay, that'll be fine. Okay. Great. So we are almost done. The last thing is we can go ahead and write down the in information for your doctors. I'll just need their name, the name of their practice, if that differs, um, and a telephone or email number. Telephone number or email. Sorry. Okay. Okay. And their telephone. Assuming they're your primary care physician. Okay. Great. Alright, do you have any other doctor you'd like us to forward your information to? Okay. Okay. And the telephone number. was that last one? Okay. Just making sure. Okay, so the third. And practice. 
Okay, and that phone number. Okay. So is that, that's all right? Okay. Well, feel free to just give us a call if there's anybody else you would like us to add into our system. That isn't a problem. So, yes, we have a team that will be in contact with all of your doctors and whatever system they have set up uh, for their medical history for their patients. Um, our team can work with pretty much everything. So we should be able to get this information to all of your doctors. Okay. And we also need a copy of your driver's license and your insurance card. Okay. Let's take that. Just type this information in. License. Okay, make sure there's nothing else I need on either of these. Okay, there you go. Give us back. Looks like we've got everything in there for you. So I don't know if you have any appointments scheduled within these first two weeks of the upcoming year, um, but it usually takes us around that amount of time to get into contact with all of your doctors and get all this information where it needs to go, okay? Um, so after two weeks, you should be good. And, if anything, in your history changes, if you ever find out any family secrets, um, or you get a cold, anything like that, you can go ahead and give us a call, and we will update your information and pass that on to all of your doctors, okay? Yep. Okay, let me close out your file. Sign my name. Okay. Great. So, I believe that's everything. Um, thank you for coming in today. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to call. Alright? Alright, great. We're so glad we could be of help. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.